for a secret vault. She did not wish to be disturbed. What? I thought she was you. Go find her again. Sorry, Glyph's not a combat model. Stupid machine. soldiers calling themselves Razor Squad is just ahead. They wish to inflict bodily harm. Also, I discovered an L4 mating token in Vault 347B. Yeah, that's right. 
to inflict bodily harm. Also, I discovered an Elcor mating totem in Vault 347B. Fascinating.
pushing ahead. Right. I might throw up a little bit now, if that's okay with everyone. does not concern her. Scientists perished. I would like to have discussed the Elcor mating totem with them. Team Hammerhead, we're headed to the next level. What's your location? Hammerhead, do you copy? There's Team Mako. We'll try to clear a path, Commander. That can't be good. Brooks, the vault sealed us in. Is there an override? None that I can see. Cortez! Brooks! Do you read me? Is anyone on this frequency? 
The short answer is no, they're not. The longer answer involves your friends trapped in iridium vaults and forgotten for, well, forever. Others know about this, about you. The Alliance will stop you. What do you think, Staff Analyst Brooks? Will the Alliance stop us? I wouldn't know. I don't actually work for them. How typical of primitives. Who the hell are you? And do you really think I won't track you down? My name doesn't matter. I never keep the same one for more than a few days. And if the elusive man hasn't found me yet, you never will. You're Cerberus? Was. Mr. Elusive and I didn't see eye to eye. He's a ruthless madman, whereas I'm just ruthless. Why not come to me? We could have worked together. In a way, we did. I'm the one who put together all those dossiers on your suicide mission. The Collector Base? There was the Salarian Doctor, the Asari Justicar, the Drell. They were all mistakes. We were a pro-human group who started looking to aliens for help. So I bided my time. And when I found another you who agreed, I woke her up. What was the point of it all? All we really wanted was your Spectre code. I got Shepard. Spectre access accepted. But then you survived the hit and insisted on bringing your damned Asari into it. So I had to tie up loose ends. The arms dealer. Elijah, it's me. We need to talk. What the hell's going on? I swear if those guns get tracked back to me... They won't. But then your sex bot just had to go and recover the data. So here we are, forced to contain the situation. Fair warning, nobody who's betrayed us has ever survived. And yet they keep trying. You two may think you're clever. And yeah, you were, just a bit. But clever doesn't beat a bullet. And yeah, maybe I am trapped in here, but don't get comfortable. Because that bullseye on your back is getting bigger by the second. That sounds very dramatic. And if someone like, say, Commander Shepard made the threat, I'd be worried. But you're not Shepard. Not anymore. You had Miranda, I have her. Mine has more bite. It was fun while it lasted. What are you doing? Setting things right. Remember this? You were the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Except somewhere along the way you forgot about your entire species. You've saved more alien lives than you have human. I don't care what species they are. Every life counts. But maybe a clone wouldn't understand that. <laughs> You know the one thing they can't duplicate? Our handprint. Life gives it its shape, not DNA. Which is a problem. Computer, update council records. Subject, Shepard, human specter. Accessing record. Please input new data. Biometric identifier updated. Good day, Commander Shepard. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Normandy needs its captain. So, uh, I should go. Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die. <laughs> I am tired of being locked in time capsules. She said I should go. Do I sound like that? Yes. Yes, you do. Maybe we should be worrying about the impregnable vault we've been sealed inside forever. How come nobody told me about this before? I'm open to feedback here. You should never announce your plan. Even when leaving a conversation, it shows weakness. I doubt there's enough air in here either. 
An hour at most. Maybe it's... I should go. I should go. I should go. Shepard, why aren't you more worried about this? Hmm? Oh, Glyph, you still out there? Yes, Commander. Unlock this damn thing and go find the others. No one steals my ship, not even me. I've got room for Shepard plus two, and figured out fast because the other Shepard is stealing my ship. What? I wanted to go. As did I. It seems I rarely get picked. Joker will come back for you, I promise. This is why I hate Shorely. I swear, you parked the ship for five minutes. Can you contact Citadel Flight Control and get them to deny the departure request? Tried. All the comm lines in the area are jammed. Probably to make it easier for them to steal my ship. We'll stop them. What happens if we lose the Normandy? Couldn't we go to the Council and prove who you are? She altered the biometric locks. We can prove nothing. Yes, that. Can we all just agree that it'd be easier to not let Shepard's evil clones steal the Normandy? Don't worry, you'll get your ship back. We'd better. I just got the seat broken in how I like it. Okay, Citadel systems are targeting the car. Any closer and they open fire. Get back and pick up the others ASAP. Right, they can't have gotten far. Unless they called a cab or something. More cannon fodder.
They just gun the engine and go? Your engineers keep the Normandy in fine condition. Most of the checks are unnecessary. Thanks for letting me know. Even. Wait, what? You were just on the Normandy. You, you fired me. Dishonorable discharge for conduct unbecoming. You kicked me off the ship with barely enough time to grab my toothbrush. That's a Scission Pro Mark IV. It uses mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. Yes, I told you that. And I remember because I'm the real Shepard. And someone just threw me off the ship. If it wasn't you. Don't be stupid, human. It was clearly a clone. I can explain more later. For now... <clears throat> uh, it's sealed. The Normandy's about to take off. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? No. I was only there because I helped with the Normandy retrofits back on Earth. Everyone else is on shore leave. Okay, you know the ship inside and out. Can you get me inside? There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It should be right here. Manual lock, and it's only meant to be open from the other side. Any ideas? I could try a biotic field, but I don't think I have the fine control required to trigger it. If you told me this morning that a toothbrush was gonna save the Normandy, I'd have been very skeptical. Her this way. Wouldn't you rather take her down yourself? Armory, find her. Slow her down. Pretty sure we broke Trainer's toothbrush getting the hatch open. Remind me to reimburse her for that. All right. Shepard, later. Remind me later. Close quarters. Quiet. Can't risk them hearing us up top. Fine. All right, get a patrol going. Find Shepard. The real one. Hey, what you mean by slow her down? We're allowed to kill Shepard if we have to, right? She said slow her down because she thinks we're cannon fodder. Oh. Well, shit. Watch out, they're gonna see us. Target. 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 
Offline. Let's get to the cargo bay. This is from my cabin. She's moving stuff out of my cabin. Oh, now it's personal.
Well, that's creepy. You want to stop shooting up my ship? It's not your ship. It will be. I've taken your name, your Spectre rank, even your fingerprints. And then you left me to die. Only I didn't. You think fake fingerprints are gonna fool the Council? Or hack it? How's that big plan looking now? Hatchet squad to the shuttle bay.
30 degrees of the nose to block course plotting. That makes us a perfect target. No, that makes us the bait. Do you want me to drive? No. Damn it. Launch the shuttle and blow that thing out of the sky! makes you so damn special. Why you and not me? Hang on! We've got you. <sighs> 
thanks. Now to deal with the other you. Here, take my hand. And then... And then you live. For what? Fortunately, they weren't here long enough to do much real damage. Although I may need some help from James cleaning up the damage to the shuttle bay. Plus, they overloaded the heat diffusion system firing at us. Not sure if you noticed, but shuttle guy here did some crazy stunt flying to keep us in one piece. That's nice to fly something a little more maneuverable than the Kodiak. What about Edie? Is she back online? I am once again fully in control of the Normandy. Glad to hear it. What about the Mercs? Any survivors? Just one crappy-ass pilot and her. Alliance has taken her to a high-security facility. Maybe she can give them some dirt on Cerberus. I'll be more than happy to cooperate with the authorities. Maya. I know that voice. Do you really? You're getting a chance to redeem yourself. Don't waste it. So serious. Admit it. Some part of you liked having me around. Looking up to the legend? We had some laughs. And who knows? Maybe we'll have more someday. No, we won't. Because you're gonna stay in your cell and do your time. Braid I'll escape. Come back for revenge. Is the great Commander Shepard pleading for her life? I'm pleading for yours. So thoughtful. <sighs> then I suppose I'm off to lock up. You know, she wouldn't have let me live. You can't clone everything. If you are undecided, it is not too late to throw her at the airlock. The rest of the squad's waiting outside. We'll have the Normandy back in shape in no time. Appreciate it. Well, as shore leave goes, this hasn't been the most relaxing. <laughs> Come on. Maybe we can take some actual time off. No explosions or anything. Just us. Unlikely. But acceptable. So, after a hard day spent fighting an evil clone, you know what comes next. A nap? Please. We party down. Well, I gotta get going. Things to settle up before I head back to Tuchanka. Always fires to put out when you're in charge, right? Let me know if you want to hang out or if you're having that party. See ya. Party, huh? Well, no pressure. No one's gonna make you throw a party. I need to unwind. Check out the strip. I'll think on it. Just in case, please allow me to provide you with credits for the purchase of any party supplies, Commander. Okay. Edie and Cortez and Trainer are in. What? I have also informed Dr. Tazzoni about any potential upcoming celebrations. Wait, wait. I am in charge of the guest list. Yeah, so there's no uninvite button on this thing? All right, but if and when I decide to have a party, I invite the rest. Cortez just invited James. 
so... Right. No promises. I'm gonna go out and see how much trouble I can get into without snapping a femur. Members of your crew have expressed interest in spending time with you, Commander. You can check your private terminal for messages. If you require activities, Silver Sun Strip has an arcade in addition to the casino. You have also been granted a complimentary pass to the combat simulator. Thanks, Glyph. Guess I should take advantage of some shore leave myself. We're happy to fulfill all your household needs. Now that is a beautiful car. Really? What can I get for you? Rex! What are you doing here? Uh, escaping. Ever since we cured the genophage, it's been nothing but work. Council been riding you? Bah! Not those Pajak shit slingers. No, it's the... Female shepherd. Now that they're fertile again. Oh, I haven't slept in I don't know how long. Can I get you two anything? Two more drinks. And another bag of ice. I would have thought you'd be enjoying the perks of Krogan fertility. Enjoying it? There's a line of females outside my dwelling right now. Stretches on for as far as you can see. I had to sneak out my own bathroom window. Even then, I was cornered by two more females on the ride from Tuchonka. And it's just you. They're not spreading the love around? Sure, but everyone wants their firstborn in generations to be strong and fit. I'm the leader of Clan Erdnot. I brought an end to the genophage. Everyone on Tuchonka wants a piece of me. And Bakar is no help at all. She encourages it. I'm telling you, Shepard, I'm in no shape to fight Reapers. Considering everything we've been through, I can think of worse positions to be in. Trust me, I've been in every position in the past few days. Here are your drinks. And a bag of ice. I thought Morden's procedure was painful. Oh well. <laughs> Shit, Shepard. We sure have been through it, haven't we? Still going through it. <laughs> True. Well, here's to us. And to going through it. I'll drink to that. Carbal! It means victory or death, roughly. Ah, but you can't die, Rex. You got a family now. A 
really big family. Ah, more ice! Surely treating you. Good. The break was nice. Welcome to Silver Coast Casino. So can we expect more El Corps Shakespeare from you? I've got your briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Looks like they were tampering with emergency food requests at the refugee center. Trying to get more food for themselves? I recovered Prothean data drives from Garbug. I'll have them brought here. Commander Shepard. Thank you. I'm sure that'll help with you. died assisting Cerberus in an attempt to clone against the Council. Just let me know when you're ready to take a break. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? You obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. Yeah, you're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it. We never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. 
So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian, you're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. I said a tough one. Step aside. Do it. Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. Yeah, well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again, Commander. I appreciate the assist. While the Alliance takes heavy losses, Turian troops have been bolstered by Krogan support on Palin. Rudnod Rex stated that his support. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core, Private Talavi? Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. You doing okay? Seems this place is hard pressed for supplies. I think I saw some guys fighting over a thermal clip. A thermal clip. They stop weapons from overheating. Sorry, just a joke. Thank you, Yorm. We will hold the pillars so close to our hearts. selected for the position vacated by Counselor Danelle Udina, who died assisting Cerberus. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Are the refugees consider you their leader? Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Chakwis spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference. And our mission may just save everyone. Now's not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Heavy losses are mounting as human colonies Elysium T5 and Zeus I need support. Someone sabotaged the Metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted the CSEC. They said it's not a priority and it doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying for lack of medication. Ah, shit. Knowles, I found another point where someone was using the Batarian access codes. Shepard, they're using it right now. I can trace them. Where are they? Right there in the refugee camp. I'm on my way. Here's our culprit, Shepard. Thanks for your help. Shepard? Of course. After what you did to the Bahawk system, why would I expect anyone else? 
Do I know you? No. But you knew Commander Balak, our greatest agent. When you killed him in the sky over Terra Nova, you threw our external operations into chaos. The Reapers annihilated us, and most of our people have been transformed into... monstrosities. A few remaining warships have resorted to petty piracy, while I steal scraps for refugees. Why are you wasting time with this? You could be fighting the Reapers alongside us. You expect us to join forces with the Alliance? You've lost Karshan, and we've lost Earth. We can die on our own or fight together. Nulls, you disabled the codes? Yes, Commander. Good. I'm dropping all charges, Spectre Authority. You're free to go. I'll... talk to my people. You think the Batarians will work with us? We'll find out. I believe those are my credits. Forces continue their assault on Sari Space. I know, I know. Come on! But I'm about to make my comeback. A joint internal Krogan force has landed on a road in an attempt to retake the Volus homeworld from Reaper forces. I fixed the sabotage. The Metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest. Shepard. Shepard, did I help? Yeah, Conrad, you helped. I don't even feel anything. Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? You... you saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The Citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hid here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the Citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? 
It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many. There may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among the living... Um, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive, and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard, it must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. He's starting to learn his way around. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The Commander is a capable warrior as well, for a human. Who once lived in caves. Thank you, Commander. I have enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. Heavy losses are mounting as human colonies Elysium, Tip Tree, and Zeus Hope are hit by Reaper forces. Grissom Academy also fell to the Reapers when Elysium was attacked. Perhaps you could send the girl to your side of the family. Are you kidding? My family disowned me when I married Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze. Or in my case, limping. And I wonder if we'll ever be the same. These are dark days for all of us. You got your work cut out for you. You and me both. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah, with Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive and right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins, a lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. 
And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. Was the Volus ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. So we killed Kolak. Once the credits go through, was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. He waking up. This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? <sighs> yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that. Stay calm. Help's coming. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Zaid used to work for. Shh. Why go after 
after your old employers, Aid. How do you know my name all of a sudden? Good question. I think I know which project you mean, and I've got a Hesperia period statue in B-24. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. I'll have it sent to Magic right away. Thank you so much. Thank you. Much. Come again. Thank you, Earth Class. Welcome to Canal Exports. At Canala Exports, Thank you for we shopping. believe that a Canala peaceful Exports. heart is a strong heart. Wrong door. We need you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. She's a recent acquaintance. How recent? Very. Shit. All right, I'm listening. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Did those mercs hurt you? I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. He tried to do the right thing before. It failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Volus support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. I can't. You can. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus's better nature, Shepard. Aphis. The colony's name is Aphis. Cerberus wants its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks. Took him long enough to spit that out. Zaid, what are you doing here? Later. c sex on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks, if you like.
arriving at Presidium Commons. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. What the hell are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. Wondered if you'd show up, Shepard. Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. I could always use more help. I'll bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Tell you what. I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Can't promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing, I can lend a hand. Do you know the current leader of the Suns? Post. Don't remind me. Little scumbag shot his mouth off on a patrol mission once. Got half his squad killed. Real pocket The Asari were the first. Shepard? I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this Crucible built, Shepard. And then, we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure. I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Wow. Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. That's... nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None taken. Good. So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. I heard what you said. I found this at a Cerberus station. A 
poison tailored to Turians. Yes, I think this is it. Bay D24. Commander. Commander.
Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? Put down the truth. Good. Bad. Don't leave anything out. Let history be the judge. I'll give them the facts. Let me just delete all these breathless passages on your heroics. <laughs> you writing anything I can't live up to? I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander. Sorry, Shepard. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier's the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I allowed to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings. Then the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike. But before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yep. That's why I was asked. 
And that's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here are it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, Shepard. Anytime. this against all known locations and update the map. Then contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard, we've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley, could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. That's an interesting goal, but is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. Reaper motives, their operational tactics. Anything that can give us an edge. And how did you wind up in charge? When the rest of the galaxy says something doesn't exist, I take that as a chance to prove that it does. So you're in it for the challenge? For the truth. Even as late as 2148, humanity still thought aliens were a myth. That was within my lifetime. Once that myth was proven to be reality, our entire history changed. Reapers were part of that reality, too. But even they have a history, Commander. If we could just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. I could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid more attention to your Prothean beacon, we might not be in this war. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough's near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a CSEC alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine, but I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You tell me. I... I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then... It was dark. Cold. Like I was someplace else. And then? I don't know! A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson, there was a loud noise. That was you shooting him. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. You have to believe that. So someone else pulled that trigger. But I would never do that! Commander. This does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... What's wrong? 
turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it, get him over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with him. Yes, ma'am. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator, and it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your time.